Road. We are here at the Hills Family Estate, Dos Colinas. Thank you to the Hills for hosting us. This has been a total pleasure. We're live right now with Spafford. Guys, thank you for doing this and making this happen. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Stoked yeah. to be here. Yeah. Moose. Yeah, man. So we're in the most delightful place on earth, and listening to you guys' sound check has done nothing but enhance the delightfulness of this whole deal. So thanks for doing it. We're about to hear three of your songs from across the catalog. What's happening first? Radio is going to be first here. A one. Two, one, two, three. Give me a house, woman. Give me a home. Give me. Where I won't feel all alone It's fall outside through the window And she sounds like the radio Give me a
It is a lot of fun, dude. You guys sound great, and it's been a total pleasure to watch you work out how the arrangement's going to work, because we were initially we were going to move that piano, but that guy was built in 1904, and we realized quickly it did not want to be moved, so we're kind of set up in a U, but watching the communication between Nick and Red is just a total delight, and seeing you guys total pros at work has been awesome, and it's just, it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to hear the broadcast mix. I'm having fun. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah, the, I had a what? Yes, I had a question. I didn't mean to just gush about you guys, but I'm going to do it again probably. Um, the uh, the community, I'm wondering. So one of the fun things about us doing Pace Studio on the road, it doesn't exist in a location anymore. So we're just roving around and being like temporary parts of different musical communities and get welcomed in. I mean, Ross from from Jealous Zelig provided this camera that's on me right now, that uke bass, that, that guitar. You know, the community has been really welcoming to us. You guys I know are from all over, kind of from Phoenix, but kind of you're on the road all the time. So what is the community that you identify with? Is it like the jam community on the road? Is it the Phoenix community? Or what, what are you a part of musically and what does it mean to you? Um, I think we get to have the privilege of being a part of like a bunch of different communities. Like we have a lot of love for our, our Phoenix community, but we also have all of like our friends and familiar faces that we kind of see like all over the place. We were just in Colorado and you look out, it's like, oh, I know that person, that person, but that doesn't mean they're, they're from all over. And it's super cool to get to like be part of kind of a, a national community in that sense. It's like a, yeah, universal community in a way. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good way, good way to put it, a national community. And it's, uh, yeah, I was, I saw you, I didn't know, I saw you guys at the, two weeks ago at the, uh, that fish after show and was outstanding in Atlantic City. And um, that is neither here nor there. Let us move on to the next song. And there's a lot more of your music to be shared with the internet. What is happening second today? Um, the second song is going to be a newer song called Giants in the Light. Um, it's a song I wrote kind of in pieces um, on the bus um, on our last tour before the pandemic and then kind of finished at home and we were working on it we've had some time in the studio so uh, it's one of our newer songs so this one's called Giants in the Light okay one two one two three <laughs> Talking how to get it right An empty yard of passing ships Giants in the light A horn is blaring in the distance Smoke is falling from the sky Just 
after one too many reasons If it's just the same, I'd like to take this chance to make a change If it's not too much to ask, I'd like to ask you for Man, it sounds great. And I wish I know you're you're in and out. Uh, wish you had more time to hang, enjoy the pool, enjoy the figs, enjoy the lemons that are actually oranges on the inside because it's some kind of crazy hybrid. Man, this place is just full of wonder. <laughs> the figs were delicious. Yeah, there's olive oil. I think we can maybe send you home with a bottle of olive oil, probably for the road, um, we'll or three it. and a half ounce, so you can get on the plane or whatever. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um. um I, I want to talk about SPAF nerds. So it's, I mean, the taper community in the jam community has been a thing since forever. Um, and I've just found out the bread, and there's 400, between four and 500 shows up there archived. And that's, I mean, it's a massive amount of material. I want to talk about the importance to you of creating these cultural artifacts and, and making them available. I mean, I think your bottle rock set is already up there, right? So you turn those around pretty quick. Um, that may be a taper. We, I, we've, uh, we do try to turn everything around pretty quick. We have, like, as you said, hundreds of official releases and even more um, unofficial releases of people that we allow in the audience to record. So, I mean, there's a, a lot of uh, a lot of recorded history out there. I think our earliest release maybe is from like 2011 or something. So we've been we or the community has been putting it out there, and we think it's important for people to be able to access that. Um, that was one of our earliest goals, um, was just getting the music recorded. started with uh, two microphones that we borrowed in the back of the room to make a really terrible hmm. demo that we put into <laughs> our uh, handmade press kit that we went and handed out to bars. CDs. Trying to get gigs outside of, outside of press kit. Yeah. Um, so it's always been really important for us to get it recorded and get it out there or let someone else record it and get it out there. 
Yeah, do you got do you have a production person that travels and does a lot of them, or is it always sourced from just somebody in the community who approaches you or who you approach to to create a recording? Um, we have an open policy for audience tapers, so people that want to come up and set up microphones in the venue, you're allowed to do that. Um, and then we have our uh, production team that rolls with us to capture all of our f official recordings. They're over there off off screen. Um, but and shout out wine. to our crew because they're the ones yeah, that Justin, night after night Justin and Matt. take us across the country and get us set up and torn down and to and from with all of our stuff. So we're very grateful to have a really good team. Yeah, well, dude, we are grateful that you guys are here and that this is happening. This is I'd rather be no other place than here. We're enjoying it very much. And there is one more song of yours to be shared with our audience. What's coming up last today? This is an oldie but a goodie. It's called Weasel. Uh, we're just going to do a fun, a fun take on it. So, How are we doing this one? A little funky. Okay. A little All right. groovy. Yeah. I'm into it.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Man, dude, this is so much fun. What an absolute delight. Guys, travel safe to your next destination and to your many, many, many road destinations. And I hope we get to keep checking in every year, 18 months or whatever. We'll be doing this on the road for as long as we can do this. We'll see what happens, but I'd love to continue crossing paths with you guys. So, dude, thanks again for doing it. Thank you for having us. We had a blast. Thank you. Thank Thank you so much for having us. All right, we'll see you next time. That's it, man. Yeah. Hot. Mm-hmm. Um, so just so everybody knows, we are still.